Join us on Top Dog Luxury in Tech, where we explore the intersection of opulence and innovation, bringing you the latest and greatest in the world of high-end gadgets and luxurious living. So, make sure you subscribe to the channel and enjoy the video. Since ancient times, it has been a familiar ritual to struggle for power. As time changes, the methods and techniques to get into power change. However, the desire and the goal to become the most powerful and rule over others remains constant. Today, if we see who has the most power, three possible names are most likely to pop out. America, Russia, and China. One thing that needs to be clear is, states gain power if the head of the state is a strong personality. Now, let's get into the video's central part. Who holds the most power? We will begin with China, led by Xi Jinping. He holds the position of the highest official in China. In particular, Xi Jinping is the President of China, General Secretary of the Chinese Communist Party, and Chairman of the Central Military. He has a long and impressive political career in China and has taken a firm stance in recent years. Xi Jinping can potentially become wealthy in China, the world's most populous nation, in any way the CCP deems legal. The Communist Party is the country's only political party. He is the leader and has a firm hold on power. In 2012, he was elected president of China, and not long afterward, he ended the restrictions on how long top leaders could serve in office. Although the basic salary of the Chinese president is well known, Xi Jinping's net worth is significantly higher than that base salary. Officially, the annual salary is stated to be $22,000, there is no definitive estimate of his worth or the process he amassed his wealth. Nevertheless, as the nation's president, the state meets most of its requirements. Xi Jinping has easily saved all of his earnings because he does not have to pay for housing, transportation, or any other expenses. Many shares in a publicity-traded Chinese company belong to his family. Xi Jinping could have at least $1 billion in personal funds because the company's valuation is in the lower billions. Xi Jinping is thought to have a net worth of more than $1 billion. It is impossible to confirm the precise figure because most of his finances are private. The president has the authority to promulgate laws, select and dismiss the premier and ministers of the state council, grant presidential pardons, declare a state of emergency, issue orders for mass mobilization, and bestow state honors under the current constitution which was enacted in 1982, with minor amendments made in subsequent years. Additionally, the President signs and cancels treaties with foreign entities and appoints and fires ambassadors. According to the Constitution, the National People's Congress must approve or confirm all of these powers. Additionally, the President makes state visits on behalf of the People's Republic. Under the fictitious Rego B-2479 and the real Rego B-2485, a Boeing 7478 painted in the CA livery was seen worldwide in the 2010s. According to rumors, this was said to be China's new Air Force One. It was seen landing in Hamburg in 2016 in VIP configuration. Since then, Air China has loaned it to the Chinese government so the president could use it. Although no official photos have been released, the interior is believed to be significantly more extravagant and contains conference tables, press seating, private bedrooms, and other features. The 747-400s now carry ministers and serve as a decoy aircraft following the introduction of the 7478. An Air China Boeing 737 has even been used for transportation on occasion. The president began importing his vehicle for overseas trips toward the end of the 2010s. As a result, freight is transported by Air China Boeing 747 cargo aircraft. So now you have seen the significant growth of China under Xi Jinping. Moving on to the next target of this video, Vladimir Putin. Russian President Vladimir Putin has unquestionably contributed to the maintaining Russia's position on the global geopolitical stage during his time in office. He has been the figurehead of Russia's economy, aiming to get more foreign direct investment, boost various industries, and take advantage of Russia's natural resources, especially its abundance of oil and gas. Putin, who has been the president of Russia since 2012, is frequently seen wearing high-end watches. He is also said to own 19 houses, 700 cars, 58 aircraft, and helicopters, including a $716 million plane called 
the Flying Kremlin. With a gold toilet and a $100 million mega yacht designed by a nuclear submarine maker from the Russian Navy. The Italian architect Lanfranco Carrillo designed the mansion, which is said to have a helicopter launching pad, underground tunnels, frescoed ceilings, a marble swimming pool, a theater, an ice hockey rink, a casino in the style of Las Vegas, and a nightclub, among other features. Citerio Atena, an exclusive luxury Italian brand, is said to have decorated most of the mansion with Louis XIV style sofas, 500,000 dining room furniture, and $54,000 bar table. Even the bathrooms have fancy Italian toilet brushes, which cost $850, and toilet paper colders, which cost $1,250. Fortune reports that a 40-person staff spends $2 million annually to maintain the property's landscaping and extravagant furnishings. According to Article 87 of the Russian Constitution, the Supreme Commander-in-Chief of the Russian Armed Forces is the President of Russia, which has a position Putin holds right now. The President appoints the High Command of the Armed Forces, formulates defense policy, and issues military directives in this capacity. In addition, the President is empowered by several defense statute articles to declare martial law, order general or partial military mobilization, oversee the war industry, and make regulations. A military doctrine governs the use of Russian nuclear weapons for 2020. It gives the President the authority to use nuclear weapons in response to the attacks involving WMD or ballistic missiles, attacks that put the atomic arsenal's integrity in jeopardy, and attacks that could put the country as a whole in danger. That's about Russia. Now, let's get on to Joe Biden, President of America. President Joe Biden has been confronted with numerous economic issues throughout his presidency. He has had a difficult road ahead of him to improve this nation's financial health, including rising food and gas costs, inflation, and a possible recession. President Joe Biden is the oldest person to hold Oval Office. He is 80 years old. His wealth has grown steadily over his lifetime, with the last 10 years accounting for the majority. The Bidens have a combined wealth of approximately $4 million, which includes two Delaware homes, $4 million in cash and investments, and a federal pension of over $1 million. The difference between the two estimates above may be because these figures are rough estimates. Most of Biden's wealth has come from book deals and speaking fees, even though he has earned a steady income as a politician. In 1973, Biden started the Senate with a salary of $42,500 per year. He made $169,300 when he left Senate in 2009. His salary increased to $230,700 as vice president, and he now earns $400,000 as president. The president spent his childhood surrounded by automobiles thanks to his father's position as a car dealership manager. Biden drives a heavily armored Cadillac limousine, but he also owns a small collection of vintage automobiles. A 1952 Plymouth Crambook convertible in candy apple red, a 1951 Strude Baker Champion, a Mercedes-Benz 190 SL, and his most prized 1967 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray, which his father gave him as a wedding present. The only authority in the world with constant access to nuclear football is the President of the United States. The device has nothing to do with football or sports in general, despite its name. The nuclear football is a 20-pound briefcase containing launch codes for nuclear missiles carried by an assistant. The briefcase dates back to John F. Kennedy's time in office during the crisis in the Cuban War. Contrary to popular belief, football does not have a large red button that can start a nuclear war. Its primary function is to verify the president's identity so that he can communicate with the Pentagon's National Military Command Center, which keeps track of the global nuclear threats and can direct an immediate response. For decades, the United States of America has spent most on its military and defense. The United States of America accoladed $718.69 billion for its military in 2019. Surprisingly, the United States spends more on its security than all but 20 other nations with the highest defense spending. Given that the United States has established 587 military bases in 42 countries and has active army troops in 150 countries, this budget pays for the purchase of arms and ammunition and care for the soldiers. These grant the American president tremendous authority over global events. Given that the United States has never fought a war on its soil and maintains relatively peaceful regulations with Canada and Mexico, the country's excessive defense budgets have been the subject of domestic and internal criticism for decades. 
It is no surprise to conclude that of all the three big names, Joe Biden, the President of America, currently holds the most power. Besides luxuries and net worth, Joe Biden has immense influence over different states and most importantly, holds power to take over numerous forms 